everybody, this is Emma from Prolific Park. We're going to be running a series of trainer tips for you over the coming weeks. This is designed to kind of maybe get you to try something new that you've maybe not tried before and certainly something that you're able to do at home. Um, in the absence of being um, in a gym environment, this, this is a body weight exercise that has many, many variations. So today I'm going to talk to you about crawling. Uh, this is a primal movement that we kind of have lost sight of. We were born to crawl. You think of babies, hands and knees, forward and back, because it comes very naturally to them. As we get older, we generally don't practice that discipline and it becomes a lot harder for us. However, in the realms of exercise, it's a really great thing to do on a regular basis. It's going to challenge your upper body, it's going to challenge your lower body, and it is certainly going to work your core. It also helps us work on balance, coordination, the contralateral movement, which is basically one arm, one leg, which again is something we generally don't focus on so much. It's going to help our mobility and it's certainly going to improve that core strength. So I'm going to show you a couple of variations today, a couple of easy ones and some of them are a little bit more challenging and we encourage you to give them a go at home. So the first one is literally a baby crawl where we're on our hands and knees. We've got our hands underneath our shoulders and we're literally walking forward and walking backwards. Taking it, holding that core in the whole time. Some other variations are the, the kind of most popular one that we see is the bear crawl, which is where we're more in this kind of squat position. And we're going to walk forward. And again, we can walk backwards. We can do bear crawl pumps as well, which are really going to hit you in those quads. Some other variations are the gorilla, the gorilla crawl, where we're going in a lateral movement. We're going to go side to side. Where we're just going to hop, we're going to come back. And then another one, if you really want the challenge, is the plank crawl. So, you are in a full plank position. Again, our shoulders are directly under, oh, sorry, our hands are directly under our shoulders. And we're going to walk. We're keeping a flat back and keeping that core engaged. And there's just a couple to get you started. So give them a go. Let us know how you get on. If you've got any other variations you'd like to share, we'd love to see them. And we look forward to, to speaking to you.